Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're taking a look at problem number three. Ah, problem number three looks a lot like problem number two, except for one small change. But we're still going to go through the process. So the first thing we need to take a look at is criteria number one of the definition of continuity. Does this function have a limit? Does the limit for this function exist as we approach one? Well, again, from the original function, we're not allowed to use one. But we did find out that the numerator is factorable. We can factor that. So I'm going to go through it step by step again. So right now, we're looking at criteria number one of the definition of continuity. Criteria number one. Does the limit exist? So right now, we know that f of x, the numerator, can be factored into x minus 1 times x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. Now again, this is known as a restriction. With the original given function, we are restricted. We cannot use the value of x equals 1. Even though we can reduce this, that restriction does not allow us to use x equals 1 with the first part of the function. So since these are factors, common factors divide into one another one time. So now this function is equal to x plus 2. And now since that's a polynomial, we now know that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1, that does begin to approach 3. So the limit does exist. It does have an existing limit. So that's criteria number 1. Criteria number 2. Well, the criteria number 2, the definition says, is the function defined at that particular value that we're trying to look at? And lo and behold, notice that f of 1 is equal to 3. Hmm. So f of 1 is equal to 3. So yes, the function does exist. And let me write that down. The function is de defined, I'm sorry, the function... The function is defined at x equals 1. So it is defined. So it meets the second part of the definition of continuity. Let's take a look at criteria number 3. Okay, with criteria number 3. Hmm, let me see if I can fit that in over here. Good. So with criteria, let me draw it over here, with criteria number three, we want to know, is the limit equal to the function at that value? And lo and behold, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1, it is equal to f of 1 and they are both equal to 3. So this function has met criteria 1, criteria number 2, and criteria number 3 of the definition of continuity. So since it met all three criteria, what conclusion can we draw? Well, Uh, yes. Do you agree with Ralph, what he said? That by the definition of continuity, f of x is continuous at x equals 1, because all three criteria are met. Let me write that.
so it is continuous at x equals 1. Well, now we know we're going to use f of x equals x plus 2, and we did that before. Let's go ahead and do the graph right now. So now, here goes our hand-drawn graph. And here I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And I get 1, negative 1, negative 2. And so now, I know at negative 2 it's 0. I know at 0 it's 2. And I know that at 1, well, in this case, the function is defined at x equals 1. It's, it's 3. So I can close that circle in. And now, remember, this is a hand-drawn graph. It's not exactly perfect. And lo and behold, this graph is continuous because the hole that was here from problem number 2 is now filled in because now they've defined that function to have the value of 3 at x equals 1. So now, since I took that removable discontinuity and I plugged in that hole, this is now continuous by that criteria given here. And also, it met all three criteria of the definition of continuity. So we've shown our work analytically, and then here goes the graph of our analytic work showing that it is continuous. Class, are there any questions about problem number three? Please let me know if I was clear. If there's anything here you need to have answered. Do not hesitate to email me. You can even call me and ask me about this for free. And I will gladly discuss the problem that I've done here. Whatever I've done here on this screen here that's free on the website, you're free to call me and I'll gladly discuss this with you for free of the work that I'm doing here that's posted on the website. So if you ever had any questions about what I'm doing here, you need to have some of this cleared up, please do not hesitate to call me. Anybody else here from class? Any questions? Okay, if there are no other questions, I'm going to ask everyone here, including you, please copy all of this work. Go back and review this again if you need to. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in problem number four.